My name is Steve Ketter, and I've been working for Clark for over 37 years. Now I'm currently the product specialist. Um, I basically help the dealers to help develop what they need to sell the trucks in, in the market of today. They're meant to last a lifetime. They, they will not fail. I mean, the second major component we build is the drivetrain to go in those. And then after that, you make the cosmetics, ergonomics. But the main thing is to have a truck that cannot fail in the, in the field. It's important that you start from the ground up with the frame, building a heavy endurance frame, so that that way, no matter what it's in, from foundries to shipping yards to lumber yards, it can handle all types of applications. We make it a completely welded assembly frame, and that is for strength and durability. It's made of much thicker steel. Um, it's, it's one welded component, so it's not bolted together, it's not manufactured in pieces. That ties everything from your mast to your steer axle to your engine. And the frame is thick on the sides and that way it can take the durability of hitting or beating on something. So we test our frames by putting them on an endurance tester. Basically, they shake those frames for around a thousand hours. It's also monitoring that through sensors. It's actually telling the stress points of when it is actually weakens the metal or stretches it. And then we come back in and re-strengthen that with braces or other steel. And it's meant to hold up in all kinds of environments. Clark builds heavy uprights. And the way they do that is they use a nested I-beam. Purpose of the nested I-beam is to actually bring the rails in together to hold them tighter. So basically they're staggered it gives you a better view window for one. And number two, it strengthens it. The closer all that is together nested like that, it actually adds strength within the upper rails as you go to the higher elevations. The stability of the upright, the, the side thrust rollers is what's designed to do that. The side thrust rollers actually take the load so that when you have an unbalanced load on a carriage, it takes and distributes all the weight into the whole upright instead of onto one side. It's called side loading, and side loading can damage and break carriages. So therefore, by being able to distribute that stress throughout the whole upright, makes it a stronger upright. Steer axles take a huge beating. They, um, a, they take the rigidness across the asphalt, the potholes. They take the overloading when they lift a load bigger and the back of the truck bounces, the counterweight will actually put a lot of stress on the steer axles. So that's why we use a, a completely welded frame axle. Now there is two major things that we do different than other ones. One is we use spindles. Um, so if you damage a spindle or you damage your bearing on ours, you can replace the spindle without replacing a whole steer axle. The second part is we use, uh, we use tapered rollers. Um, the reason we use taper rollers in the steer axle is to take that bounce and that stress from all that weight of the counterweight uh, bouncing up and down. Uh, what happens is, is the taper rollers actually will expand out and contract. Due to our design, we can actually take the impact and relieve it back into the axle. One of the reasons they are so durable and so long is because we took so much time to design. Some of these designs took somewhere around two to three years worth of engineering time until we had a proven product that we knew would last in the field. I would describe, you know, Clark Forklifts as, as iron horses, workmen. Um, they're meant to take the punishment, go back to work the next day. And that, that's, that's what they're built to do every day, day in, day out.